Hey guys, welcome back to Bombs and Bushes Homestead. I'm Ed, and today I just have a real quick update video for you on the quail and uh, what's been happening with them. Uh, not going to be any editing in this video. It's just going to go. I'm just going to shoot it straight to YouTube right from my phone. Uh, so bare bones, basic today. So. If you've been following me, then you know that uh, I've just got a, a very simple setup for my quail here. Um, I don't have to worry so much about predators here. So you can see I just use regular chicken wire for the sides and uh, some hardware cloth there for the bottom. Um, if you've been following me, you also know that I've had a dog dish, just like a little watering bowl, uh, that I've used for my quail for a long time. And uh, it's worked out great here for the summer because they get to stand in it, they cool off. And uh, while it's worked great for cooling them off, I think it has also uh, been the uh, primary factor in them getting bumblefoot, which uh, just about every one of them presented with here recently. And uh, <clears throat> I think that it was because that watering bowl, the wood that was closest to where it was, uh, wasn't drying out properly, so they were standing in wet feces a lot. And you know, I change that water out two or three times a day, but the wood, on the other hand, uh, seemed to have uh, been a great place for that bacteria to uh, to form and, and stick around. So what we did to combat that is, or to treat that, we had to uh, cut out those spots on their feet. If you don't know what bubble foot is, it's uh, from what I gather, it's, it's like a staph infection basically in their feet. So how they normally get it is they injure their feet uh, and you know they like to scratch a lot and with this hardware cloth I imagine they you know they got some scratches on the bottom of their feet and then they stand in the bacteria, whatever that source may be, wet feces. Um, and uh, it swells up so they get like kind of like these pads or blisters on the bottom of their feet. And uh, you know, initially it just looks like a, a little blister or, or like swelling. Um, and then when it gets really bad, it can be black. And so treating that, we had to cut that out. And there's uh, what some people have referred to as a core in that in that area. And so yeah, I took a uh, sterilized uh, razor blade. We cut that open. We pulled that out. Uh, we stopped the bleeding. And we used this. Uh, Poultry Care, uh, Microsin AH, just something we bought at like Tractor Supply or whatever, and uh, it uh, seems to have done the trick. We, we sprayed it with that, uh, we put just regular band-aids on it, on their feet, uh, we had them separated as the ones that we treated separated, um, and as, you know, as we would treat more we would separate them. And uh, kept them uh, bandaged up for a couple of days, and uh, everything seems to be great. I mean, you can see they're well, except for the fact that they just ran inside now. But you know, they're running around fine. We have one more to treat. That may be the one, one thing right there. Um, and uh, and then we're done. And so you can see I've removed that bowl and just went to a traditional water. And uh, I think that should should do the trick. So if you've modeled your uh, quail hutch after me, which I don't suggest because I'm in kind of a unique position here for this to work for me. But uh, you know, if you just have a simple cage and you've been putting that water dish in there like I have, uh, yeah, heads up, you may want to trade that out for a traditional water of some sort. Uh, so that that wood can dry out and it doesn't, uh, you know, sustain that uh, that bacteria there. But uh, yeah, that's it. Other than that, uh, still feeding them the same. Uh, just a mix of wild bird feed and some uh, layer crumble for chickens. Uh, I've got rubber bowls in the back that I throw sand in and grit, and uh, you know they go and they dust bathe in that. And they Peck out that grit. Uh, I put some hay, which I need a little more, in the corner box there, and uh, they lay eggs in that, hang out in that. They also lay eggs in those bowls. They also lay eggs in their little uh, covered area there. Um, but yeah, so I 
think that's about it. I still give them uh, scraps, scrap, food scraps from the house. Uh, they love corn, they love bananas, and pretty much anything really. But, uh, but yeah, so that's all that's been going on with them. Uh, they're still laying like crazy. We get half a dozen eggs a day. Uh, we have six females, one male. Uh, yeah. So, super short video today. I'll get that other video out here in a couple of days when my adhesive dries. And uh, you'll know more what I'm talking about at that point. And, uh, and then, yeah, nothing else going on. And uh, we'll talk to you guys again soon. Enjoy, guys.